and take you straight to Lebanon, where the country's prime minister-designate, Saad Hariri, announced just a short while ago that he's stepping down. Well, he's been in the post for nine months this time, but he cited what he called key differences with the Lebanese president, Michel Aoun. Well, his announcement came after a 20-minute meeting with the president, during which time Hariri presented his proposed cabinet lineup, which included, which included 24 technocrat ministers. Well, this proposal was seen as a last-ditch effort by Hariri, who called this the moment of truth for Lebanon. Here's what he said a short while ago. It is clear that we will not be able to reach an agreement with the president. In our meeting, I also suggested he takes more time to think about the list of 24 specialists. He said that we will not be able to reach an agreement. Therefore, I apologize for not being able to form a government. May God help the country. OK, Saad Hariri speaking there. Well, let's get some more analysis. I'm joined by our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian. Uh, Armin, I mean, uh, a pretty, uh, well, I mean, it's not a terribly big surprise. A lot of people had expected uh, it would be very difficult to, uh, to, to get a deal. But just tell us, how has it come to this point? Well, essentially, it's about uh, who gets to have their allies uh, represented in, in this cabinet lineup. Both men, Saad Hariri and Michel Aoun, uh, wanted to have their own allies in the cabinet and to have them represented in a way that could defend the interests of, of both, essentially. And uh, Michel Aoun uh, wanted to have this so-called blocking minority, so he wanted to have uh, eight ministers out of the 24, so that would be a third, obviously, uh, that would essentially act as a kind of veto on certain decisions if uh, if that bloc didn't like the decisions. So that was kind of the, the main, as I understand it, I think that, that was the main uh, sticking point. Uh, but also that, you know, they've had a very tense personal relationship, uh, Aoun and, and Hariri, and uh, it's from that point of view, it's also not surprising. I mean, the way that this latest sort of twist played out when Hariri came to Owen, Owen and said, OK, you've asked for these, you've asked for changes. I've I've made some changes. Here's my proposed list. Please give me an answer in 24 hours. That was seen by Aoun as an ultimatum. He didn't like that, obviously. Um, so, you know, they, they've had a lot of personal differences and battles about the prerogatives that each each of them have in terms of what powers they have as prime minister designate or as president. So not entirely surprising, as you say, that it, it's come to this ultimately. Yeah, but all the while, uh, the country is suffering terribly and the uh, uh, the Lebanese people, nevertheless, extremely disappointed by this, uh, this announcement today. Well, I just wonder if this could have uh, repercussions in terms of Lebanon sectarian uh, d divides and, and differences because uh, there's a kind of scenario that's repeated itself uh, when previous prime minister designates have been unable to form a government they've had to resign uh, they've been Sunni Muslims and Saad Hariri is really a political he heavyweight who's seen as in a sense the representative of the country's Sunni Muslims once again it's the uh, the Sunni uh, politician that has to step aside while the other two uh, sort of top uh, top posts who are Christian and Shiite, they have they stay, they, they stay on. But the Sunni Muslim essentially has to uh, step a uh, step aside. And I wonder whether that's going to reverberate now. Uh, but of course, yes, given the economic situation, this has bigger implications than simply sectarian questions, Tom. Uh, international donors have said there needs to be a government formed before we can open credit lines. So that again is now going to be pushed back until we don't know when, uh, while the economic crisis deepens. And one also wonders what this latest impasse means for the donors conference that is meant to be happening uh, here in Paris in August. Indeed, raises a lot of uh, questions. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh,